Hello Spartans and good morning, I'm Dominic. And I'm Bailey with your Spartan News for today, Thursday, April 3rd. There's a girls soccer game here at 4 today, so come out and support. We now would like to remind all students to purchase a yearbook by tomorrow if you haven't done so already. If you don't get one by tomorrow, you will not be able to order one at all. They are $45 and an extra $5 if you want your name engraved on it. So make sure you pay for your yearbook by tomorrow if you are interested in getting one. We would also like to remind juniors and seniors to purchase their prom tickets so that we don't lose our venue. Maybe even ask someone to prom to purchase couple tickets. Single tickets are 50 and couples tickets are 90. Don't miss out, Spartans. So some students here have tattoos and or piercings, but why at such a young age and how does this affect them? Let's go to Jeremy and see if we can get some answers to those questions. Hello Spartans, I'm Jeremy Kent with your Spartan Media and I'm here today with students to interview them on tattoos and piercings. Body art and more specifically piercing has become more normative among adolescents. Um, I like my tattoos. I want to get more and more and more. I got my first one when I was 12. So just from there I just started getting them more and more and want to get lots more. I have a heart that represents me and my boyfriend. I have my back because my cousin passed away. Uh, the story is about having like faith and success and uh, uh, God will always be on my side. I like them, but they're not necessary. But my grandpa died, so he was like my pride, hope, and joy. My favorite tattoo is the heart with my mom's name on it because I love my mom. And I, that's my first tattoo, actually. And I was like 16, and then I decided to get one one day because I was with my friends and he had like a tattoo kit and I wanted one. Academic performance was the main socio-demographic difference between pierced and unpierced adolescents. So it all depends on where you get your tattoo. So when it was on my thigh, it didn't hurt as much, but probably somewhere on your ribs or like your chest, it would hurt more because there's not a lot of meat there. Of having a tattoo, they probably look at me like wrong, but then I just... It doesn't really bug me that much. I thought it was cool because everyone else had them, and everyone else around me was older, so just like I might as well get some too because I can and nobody's going to stop me. So. Well, that's all we have for today, Spartans. Back to the anchors. Thank you for that, Jeremy. That may have been some good information for some students here. On Tuesday the 8th, there is going to be a couple teen speakers here at the auditorium <coughs> at 630 for a motivational speech on bullying. One of those teens is 17 and travels around the world to talk to fellow teens like you. There will be a meet and greet as well. This is all free and brought to you by our San Juan Booster Club. And again, that's on Tuesday at 6.30 in the auditorium. For those of you who are out there that don't really know, there's a student store in D5. That's Mr. Locke's classroom that sells snacks, drinks, as a fundraiser for the junior class. So San Juan, come out and help them and stop by in the student store. Open house is Wednesday the 9th, so come out with your family and show off all of our hard work we do here at San Juan. Well, that's all we have for you today, Spartans. Bye! Bye.